According to Hamburg police, a 16 year old student will be charged as an adolescent offender. It's important to tell you right off the bat, the threat was not deemed credible. Authorities in Hamburg trying to send a strong message that this kind of behavior will not be tolerated. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller spoke with police just this afternoon. This was a very bad decision. A bad decision by a Frontier High School student now has the 16-year-old facing seven felony charges and seven misdemeanor charges following Monday's email school threat. One of our technology security systems picked up a possible threatening email shortly after 8.30 a.m. Frontier Central School Superintendent Richard Hughes says the high school principal received an email from a student Monday morning threatening to shoot up the school and said the clock is ticking. The school then investigated and found whoever was making the threats had hacked into other students' email addresses to do so. Each email was taunting in nature, including comments as, you haven't found me yet. The school says it went into lockdown mode, and even after that, the emails kept coming. If a student or whoever thinks they're not serious, these are beyond serious. Somebody could have got hurt yesterday. Hamburg police, along with the Erie County Sheriff's K-9 unit, cleared the building and found no weapons or explosives. Investigators were able to track the emails to the same IP address. Monday night, they tracked down the student at their home and charged them with seven counts of aggravated harassment in the second degree, six counts of computer trespassing with the intent to commit a felony, and one count of making a terrorist threat. Hamburg officials say let this be a warning to any other students who may be thinking of pulling a similar prank. Well, these are serious situations, and we have to treat them seriously, and that's exactly what happened yesterday. There's real consequences for making a very bad decision. And the student is 16 years old. They are being charged as a juvenile in family court. Again, no weapons were found in the school. The threat was not credible, and the school says all lockdown procedures were followed appropriately. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.